We're playing floating platforms. Floating platforms. We're back, everybody. <coughs> in, in case you don't, don't do that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I really. <laughs> I. You saw it coming. I yeah. I was like, why did I jump? As I was like. All right, you only got three, 93 more uh, chances. That's okay. We wasted a lot of time in the outro at, in last episode, so. Oh, great. Oh, uh, one of those. Uh, yeah, you can't throw up because you're not in Super Mario World. No, it's one of you the worst things. You can jump off the bullet bill. I bet you a million it's on that platform. How much you want to bet you it's wanna... another Koopa? Fucking great. I am right, and you are dead. Eh, well, you know. <laughs> 92 lives. We're good. Boom jams. Boom. Oh, yeah, boom jams. Oh, you can do the little twirl on air too. By the oh way. shit! I always forget that's a thing in this Mario. I am. This actually, where this is, I'm worse at this Ooh. type of Mario than any other Mario, which you know makes sense, I guess, because I'm an old school player. Um, because I just didn't really play the, the newer ones all too much. Is there any way to get this other than like if we had Kamek here, and, like, or like bombs? Because otherwise, this is some bullshit. What did you have with you? You had a... Koopa Shell. Zip. Koopa Shell. Technically, I suppose if you were extremely uh, good, you might have been able to throw it at the shell at the bottom and then bounce off of the shell and then go above that platform. In other words, you would have had to have gone Kaizo for a moment. To get the, like, the little star in there? Yeah. I don't understand. I, I think it was just kind of there. Well, sorry, Zach. I wasn't unless, a huge fan. Unless you could have gone down that tunnel. You didn't check if you could go down the tunnel. Ah, oh, shit. You had a lot of tunnels you didn't even try. Give me that. You're totally right. You've lost your tunnel privileges. Dang it. <coughs> <coughs> ah, no. Ah. Uh, oh, my God. Is the stage actually going? No, okay. It's just rocking You're back Doing and your forth. Dragon Ball Z run. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, oh well, this stage actually got interesting all of a sudden. We've been playing a lot of, where well, at least this is the second level now that we've seen in this playthrough, Man. where we're just given a very short amount of time. Is this I, literally I really like, there's... I die unless I start moving right at the beginning? I really hope there's like a jump at the end that's just like, nope, fuck you. Nope, just fuck you, I guess, is what we got. Great job. So... <laughs> you did it. No star for you. I mean, it's like, it's kind of a fun concept, but it's like... I'm barely cool approve with a speed like yeah, thing, but it, it's barely a proof of concept though. Like, okay, you proved that you could do it. Now make a real level out of it. Is kind of yeah what I want out of that. It's also pretty much determined on if the player pressed right right from the get go while holding the uh the, the you got this you got yeah Boom jams smiley face fucking wreck your damn smile oh can I jump up there yes. uh, yeah <laughs> wait yeah. Are there are there hidden blocks in in this Mario? Oh yeah, I thought so. <coughs> oh, well, you kidding me? That's how they screen. actually teach you. Um, that's how they teach you how stars function, if I'm not mistaken. It was within like the first half of uh, one dash one, and you try to make a jump, and if you jump just right, trying to make this leap over this area. Um, like if you jump too early, you end up running into an invisible block that uh. gives you the star. And they did that because they figure most players are going to do that, and if they jump early like that, oh, there is no fear of dying. So instead, they would just be rewarded, and then they would go, oh my god, there are secret stages, or secret uh, blocks. Oh! It's pretty cool. I wish there was sort of a way to control a it little could... bit more where the hammer bros go. Really, at all of the enemies, just run past them. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, sometimes, uh, it, like, uh, we've talked about it, how, like, controlling the bosses is the biggest issue. Oh, yeah, especially if you put, the, whoa, especially if you put them on something like a cloud, um, they just, like, go crazy. It bothers me that you're on the bottom and not on the top. I know. Like, Mario 1 especially, it was all about gaining high ground. I feel like a lot of platformers from this generation were actually... Ah, oh, uh, that was cheap. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, 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 oh. oh. They're kind of, They probably could have put in a checkpoint in there. That was kind of what I was thinking too. I was like, this level's a little bit longer than we've generally seen. It could have been grounds for having a checkpoint, but I think it's so uh, far... That's where it is. What? Get back up there like you did that one time. Yep, get up there. Whoop! Do a running yeah, jump. Yeah, I and... actually 
had that train of thought when I broke those blocks, and I was like, well, now I can't get up there. Go Great job, tunnel. Chris. Nope. No? Really? Why? I know, right? <sighs> Ooh, there, it is. there we go. Rewarded. See, that's good. That's good design right there. Take a different path, get rewarded for it. Take the harder to get to path yes. and get rewarded. Which nice. I think is um, the better way of looking at it. Ah, uh, boom. Okay. Anticipation. Player has to make a leap of faith. Sometimes a good strategy. Sometimes. Yeah. Not always. You don't want to rely on too many uh, leap of faith, but occasionally it's actually not a terrible idea. Yeah, I know that having relying on um, directing Mario while he's off screen can be really hard for some players. I know you've actually had issues with that in some of our earlier episodes. Um, oh, yeah. Because it's really hard to anticipate where he is. Like, I'm, I'm decently good at it because I'm... Like, I can kind of tell where the center of the screen is, so I don't lose track of them, but... Oh, uh, yeah. So I learned that in, uh, I think it was Classic Mario, I was I was started watching a, a show on YouTube that was called, like, A Plus Something. Um, I can't remember what it was exactly, but they run a show called Son of a Glitch, and it's, it's actually kind of fun. It's pretty good. And, uh... They had a s short series on, on Mario, and, and they were showing how in some of the earlier Marios, um, there were glitches you could do to get past the flagpole. Yeah, that's and, awesome. And uh, they actually incorporated that into a later Mario in sort of an homage to uh, to the, the classic Mario glitches, oh. which was actually really cool. You know, I haven't checked on this one, but uh, I'm wondering um, if you play... Oh, I just screwed myself. I don't need that. <laughs> uh, if you can still do the uh, the turtle shell trick, um, is that where you can infinitely jump on the turtle shell and just get unlimited lives? Yep. I I feel like they wouldn't have changed the physics for this one, so I imagine. Well, actually, hmm, I don't know. I've noticed that in some Mario Maker levels. Well, no, that's probably the same as Classic Mario. I know that if you. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. But I have power block. I feel like you get the real... Yeah, unnecessary power block. Power block. Oh, power block. Wait. Can't go back. <sighs> I actually <laughs> didn't... I just wanted to get the... You we good. should just fast forward through this part as I just... Well, I... This level's not that long, but... <coughs> um, mm, uh... How you doing there, buddy? I, I, uh, I'm, I'm totally spite dying. Uh, yeah, huh. <laughs> there, there were some levels that you actually have sp spite died in that I've seen. Like, I've, I remember going over to your place and, uh, seeing you play a, what was it? It was like a, Ooh. it was one of those levels where there were just like a million mushrooms everywhere and you're just like, I bet you no one's died in this level. I'm going to put a lot of deaths on this level. Yeah. Just in spite of this level. There is one where Oh, the pow block is just to get the coins. If you throw the pow block, the coins drop. Oh, okay. It still seems a little weird, but at least it has some sort of reason. I mean, yeah. Uh, you know, there was the, uh, going up that one area, like, that was that moment of excitement. I was like, oh, I can go up the first area here and find something. And you gave me a fire flower for it, and then there wasn't any more thing else like that in the mm -hmm. thing. So, like, doing it that early in the game made me think, oh, the rest of the level's, level's going to have something cool like that. Uh, and then it, it did not deliver such a thing. Yeah, unfortunately. You can do the flutter like Yoshi. <laughs> it's a super efficient flutter, too. It really is. Not as efficient as uh, Yoshi's uh, Wooly World. Wooly World, though, where you can do it infinite times. Dude, it's crazy in that game. It's but insane. I'm happy that they des designed some levels to actually work. Expect you to do that. Yes, and that's. Yeah. I think that is what made me. I yep. don't put up with that shit. No. I absolutely hate that. That's not a cool way to, to, to make your players lose. I'm not okay with that. <laughs> You're so angry. <laughs> I fucking hate that shit, dude. At least I didn't lose a life in that process. I also don't really like that shit either, but whatever. The, the game at least allows players to do that, so I can't really argue. Yeah, yeah, it's not like a... It's not as bad as what just happened in the last level. Oh. You know, for some reason, I f still felt like I it had did Yoshi. I expect you to fall in the lava, though. 
You know, that's not a good reason for jumping. No, dude, I was like, I'll totally flutter up to (laughs) to that point. And I was like, wait, I can't flutter. I'm Mario. (laughs) Mario can't flutter. Mario can't flutter. (laughs) Ice blocks and lava level. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. Mmm. One of the most satisfying things is to kill thwomps. But really, that's like nostalgia, because killing a thwomp in the... Old games. <laughs> that was funny. They totally, I saw what you did there. I know. That, that was totally... That was actually... That's good level design because they knew exactly what I was going <laughs> to fall for and I fell for it. I know. I that's know. good. It's embarrassing. But killing a thwomp in the classic Marios was like a fucking badger pride. You're just like, I found a way to kill you. Oh, you yeah, You unkillable man. thing. At least I always enjoy it. No, no. It, it, it definitely is. It doesn't happen often. But when they gave you that opportunity, you went out of your way. Right? I guess all I had to do was not jump. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's so funny about it. Oh, man. It's not like you even had to jump to kill an enemy. You just jumped out of natural reaction. You know, honestly, I'd almost be happier. Ooh, boy. You got this. I'd almost be happier. Some, yeah, you gotta do some sacrifices here. Yeah. Before, before you shoot. Yeah, I guess this is actually not that hard because I can just, like... See, problems... This is, like, a fun concept that I've seen players do before. The issue with it is it doesn't actually do anything. It's basically, like, saying, here, take time to have this thing happen. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not skill-based. Oh. Oh, I'd be be curious to see... I'd be curious to see how many players have actually died in that spot. I mean, I guess if you don't, like... You should go down. I should go down. <laughs> I'm gonna get another one of these. Might as well. Because, you know, you can. Oh, that's right. Mario does have ground pound in this one. Yeah, I always have a harder time. Ooh. They basically turned you into Yoshi without the flutter. Kind of, yeah. Well, Yoshi Yoshi didn't have a ground pound in, um... God, fucking Clown Car Massacre. Uh, Yoshi didn't have the ground pound in, um... Oh, now I've got the Hammer Bros. In, uh, Super Mario World, right? Uh, no, but I mean, like, back in the day when it was, like, he had nothing. He had his tongue. But I'm talking about, like, Yoshi's Island, when they really made Yoshi an actual character. That's fair. Uh, he had the ground pound then. Although, I guess you could argue that Yoshi's Cookie, he was really a character, but, uh... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, damn it! Really, man? Whatever. Oh, you couldn't jump over him, and now you're gonna die! I'm totally gonna die. Oh. This would've been a good point for a checkpoint. That's fair. That would that have been, would just been before really I entered that door, I actually would have been the best spot for a checkpoint. <sighs> Back to the begin. Mario what else? Begins. I got this. I think my my main criticism for this level, I actually do kind of like this level. Um, I think my main criticism is that there just really doesn't seem to be any kind of theme or any like high concept to it. It just is like, here's a bunch of different things in this level, and they're all fun, but they don't really feel connected. Yeah, no, that's, I I agree with that. And I think really that's like the only thing that's really missing from this level. If it had a little bit more continuity, I'd be pretty happy with it. This part really does confuse me, because... Oh, wow, that was magic. Yeah, boy. Fire tossing pro. Fall for your shit again. <laughs> boing, boing. So I guess is the idea that I'm just gonna like stick my little head in there and just shoot these guys. That's the only thing I can think of for that little divot, you know? Yeah, I don't really know because I mean it, you can't really stay in there you, because you're these just guys gonna just bounce, bounce off of it. Way. That's the other thing. Whoop. Oh my god. Well. That was embarrassing. I am ashamed. I'm ashamed too. But you like, should go right this time. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I feel like son of a bitch. I feel like had they chosen different enemies, like um, uh, dry bones. Had they chosen like dry bones for those little clown cars, um, I think it would have been more interesting because you really can't get killed from those goombas. 
I mean, maybe if you're yeah. if you're like really not careful. Um, but even then, if Mario's head hits the bottom of one of the clown cars, it doesn't hurt him. Which is very interesting because it actually did in the original Super Mario World, but not the bottom of the balloon. It was the propeller. Oh! But that's not the case anymore. Yeah, that is interesting. Do better, mo better. Do better, mo better. You do better, mo better. I want to do better, mo better on these. Okay, see, pipes. that's like that's that would be a cool concept of me. Like, all right, got to take move here, take cover, shoot these things, and then go take cover, shoot these things. Like that, that would be actually pretty fun. Well, well that was short lived. <laughs> Cheat the system. Hey, man. They wouldn't have made it an infinitely generating machine if uh, they didn't expect people to use them. To use them. Did you have another one of those weird burps? Yeah. Yeah. I hate those. Haha, uh -huh, he's making fun of you. Don't make fun of me. Ah. Uh, oh, he's dead now. So. Oh. 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 That's oh my. right. I forgot the giant shells can break through these things. Oh, and the giant shell is gone. All right. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Is that it? Seriously? Oh, well, I mean, at least Bowser's trying to kill you. You can't get through. There's nothing on the other end here. Oh. Well, you know, I was like, maybe this is another path. Maybe there's going to be, like, a drop at some point. Nope, it's just a dead end. And I'm pretty sure I was trapped there, too. We'll just skip to the end, or uh, past that balloon area, and uh, finish off the level, huh? Fine. Can't do any more coffee. No? S reflux. Mm. Murdering me. Mm. I've had a lot of coffee today. <laughs> it's, that's fine. I'll probably finish it. Yesterday I had a weird thing going on where, like, my heart rate was really fast most of the day. And, uh, like, I felt, like, short of breath. And I was like, am I going to die? What happens if I have a heart attack and Jen's not here to call someone? Fuck. That's, like, every hospital story I've ever had. Like, is this the day I die? <laughs> this is how it ends. When those words cross your mind, this is how it ends. You know, I have noticed that since Jen has gone to Norway, I've gotten strangely paranoid about things. Like, for example, um... <laughs> I and now Hammer guys throwing something Such at bullshit. Oh, Hammer this. bro. I hate this. I hate everything about this right now. Just do better, mo better. Oh, I'm Get trying to do better, mo better. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, I did it. Oh, God. yeah, just don't jump off the... Uh. But yeah, ever since Jen um, went to Norway, oh my god, they're following me. Ever since Jen went to Norway, I've been paranoid like, oh god, what if, what if my car is full of like a million tickets? Because Jen hasn't been here to, to check on the car. Oh, 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 he's following you. Well, I guess this is a thing now. <laughs> this is goodbye. Oh, ah, well. Ah. Huh, huh, huh. I like that it went back to the cave music for a second there. Shit, fucking ah! That's because the sound is messed up. Yeah, I really don't like the sound system in this game. Jeez, there's so many. I feel many. like it was just kind of like haphazardly thrown, thrown on at the end. And like, they're like, just make a bunch of pretty animations to add to it. I know, right? It's the only thing that could justify the sound system. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, the sounds kind of suck on their own. But... If we add some animations, it's perfect. You know what, Bowser? I don't like you. Yeah. How's that shit? I don't like you or your fireball. Yeah. I got a fucking helmet, dude. You can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. Oh, um, it's don't stop me. You already messed it up. Can't and stop me And you can't get away now. with that because it's like that's the name of the title of the song. Why aren't you just running across all this? Uh, to be honest... <laughs> so you could run into lava? Yes. Oh, oh you didn't even need oh. that. Oh! Just, just do it! Just do it! Oh, there are... Just, there are more. Fire oh, plant. this is actually challenging. Because they're gonna just bum rush you. Why was there a cat slap? Who? Why? I don't understand the cat slap. Why do people do that? I don't like it. What is it? <laughs> Why did Nintendo even think that was gonna be f I mean, people use it- I don't know, I'm not a fan. 
it feels very anti Mario. If you I strike him Lionel down, League. he will become more more feline. Phil. Good. Oh. Jumping on him deals more damage. Just spin jump off of him over Bowser. Oh, that almost worked. Instead, you just killed both of them. <laughs> I mean, that's fine, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, it doesn't, like, Giant Bowser have a ton of health. He does have a ridiculous amount of health. Luckily, you're hitting them with fire flowers and not, you know, with, like, shells like I was trying to pull off. Uh, you know, I think really the only thing... Well, I guess I already said this once, but um, the other thing that I, I kind of am left unsatisfied oh. with in, in these levels is uh, that these little combat sequences just like they're not challenging because we have this infinite supply of flowers it just kind of feels like time waster but see that's kind of the issue with it it's inherently flawed because Bal giant bowser has so much health that he's not killable by except by like shooting him into lava which actually now i come thinking about it, that would be a cool stage but he's not normally killable Except for by hitting him with a million things and the only way to pull that off is by giving you infinite uh, flowers. Yep. So, uh, but we'll talk about this in the next episode. Yep. Thank you for watching everybody. And uh, if you have any levels that you want us to play. Oh my god, it's a don't move. <laughs> if you don't give us those. <laughs> send us your uh, codes and we'll we'll check them out. Yeah. Christmas or uh, Christmas or what? Holiday level. Holiday levels. Yeah, unless like they're releasing... One today. I don't know if, when this video is going to release. So and there's another one. Check out the holiday another levels if you haven't seen them dust. yet. Bye, everybody. Bum, bum. <laughs> another one bites the dust. And another one gone. Another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Hey, we're going to get you too. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust.